Hey guys, my name is David, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add your first product to your new Shopify store. So you're going to start here on your homepage dashboard and to go to products, you're just going to want to click over here on the little side menu, click products. And then next, you're just going to click add product. And these are all the fields you're going to need to fill out and I'm going to go through it with you. So for the purpose of this video, we're just going to pretend that we are uploading a t-shirt to the website. So let's call this David's t-shirt. And the description is where you're just gonna describe your product. So for example, 100% cotton, ultra soft. And if you wanna highlight something or make it bold, you would just click here, italics, underline, you could change the color, you could do whatever you need to do. Next, you're gonna go to media, which is your photos and or videos that you're going to use for your products and the great thing about shopify is you could use videos which help you communicate a product and it increases your conversion so i definitely recommend that if you can i just have four google images of t-shirts for the video um so you can just drag and drop them and this organizes them in the order which you want them and the big one here is going to be your cover photo so you want to put your best photo as your cover photo. Next, you come down to pricing and price is just what you're going to charge for the t-shirt. Let's say $14.99 and compare at price. You don't need to fill this out, but if you say your compare at price is $19.99, this basically means that, Hey, this shirt is $19.99, but right now it's on sale for $14.99. So it's going to basically show your customers this price with just like a cross going through it. And it's gonna say the price is actually $14.99, it's on sale. So it gives customers some incentive. Next is the tax. So whether or not you charge tax on whatever you're selling is up to you. You need to check with your laws and government regulations and whatever it is. And cost per item, you should definitely fill this out, put in the cost per item. Cause Shopify calculates your profit margin and your profit dollars. So this is really awesome and really powerful. Um, all your product margins and profits and everything end up in your finances. So if you have like 10, 20 products, you can go to your finances and then it's going to show you what you spent on your products, what you profited and how much customers spent. And it just gives you a whole breakdown and it's really, it's really, really powerful and you don't have to keep track of it. Shopify will do it for you. Next is your inventory. If you have a SKU number, you can put it in. Um, if you're a small business uploading your first couple of products, you probably won't have a SKU number, but for the purpose of this, we just put T001. Uh, you could put in your barcode if you have one. Yes, you want to track quantity for a t-shirt or any physical product. If you're selling something digital, like a course or a video or something like that, then you don't need to track the quantity because it's online and you know, you don't need that. So it's up to you if you want to continue selling when out of stock. Um, you should only have this clicked if you know you're getting more stock coming in and you don't want to lose out on the sales. Next is your available quantity. You can just put like 10. And whether or not this is a physical product, so obviously a t-shirt is physical. And again, oh, something like a course or a video is not physical. So yes, it's physical. So we need to put the weight in. Say it's a six ounce t-shirt. Uh, wherever you're getting your stuff made and your HS code if you have one. Next in options is perfect for something like a t-shirt because you're going to want to put different sizes. So you're going to put small and then if you click comma, it'll just bring you down to the next line. So medium comma, large comma, extra large. And then you click done. And another option is color. So we're just going to do yellow, gray, and white. So done and done. And now it automatically creates all the variants possible, every size mixed with every color. And here you could change the price of an individual SKU or individual variant. So if you want to charge more for an extra large, you could change all your XLs to be more money or a certain color. If you want to change the price of a certain color, 
you could charge more money for it or less money even and your quantity is basically just going to keep track of how much of what you have in stock which is really awesome so that you don't have to sit there counting individually by hand on your own basically shopify will keep track of all that for you and as you sell shopify will also actually there will be a little insights tab here after we save the product and i'll show you later um, so the last thing we got to do here is just check out the edit website seo seo is search engine optimization if you're a beginner i wouldn't recommend messing with this um, I can actually make a video on this if you want, just leave it in the comments below. And search engine optimization is basically using keywords to rank you on search engine platforms like Google or Yahoo or Bing. So we filled everything out, you're going to want to click save. And there you go, your product is all set, you have all the SKUs here, you could adjust the quantities. Now, here is, where's the, uh, oh, we have to set it active. So right now your product is a draft so that only you see it on the back end of your Shopify store. And if you wanna set it live for customers to see on your website, you just click active and save. So here's the insights tab I was telling you about. So as you have sales, it'll show you here you sold 30 of this product in the last 90 days, which accounted for X amount of dollars in sales. So it's cool. You could check out each individual product and see how well or not well it's working for you. And for organization, if you fill this out, it'll help you organize basically. And for collections, if you're selling, let's say, uh, t-shirts, long sleeves, hoodies, sweatpants, or you have multiple t-shirts and you want to organize it into categories you would basically just set up categories in your uh, category tab and then you could add it here so right now we don't have that set so we can't do it but again i can make a video on that if you want after you set it active you just click save and that's it your website is finished and ready to go for with its first product Hey guys, thanks for watching. I have a ton more content coming, so please like and subscribe. And if there's anything specific that you want to see and you want a tutorial on and you're trying to figure out, just comment below and I can either answer you in the comments or I'll even make a video about it.